Hi, my golden friend. We are going to continue our Scotch Gambit series. Where we, last time we discussed Queen H5, we are talking about the line that Bishop takes and we take with, back with the Knight. If Bishop doesn't take and Pawn takes or Knight takes, then we enter different lines that we will discuss them later. They are easier ones. No, and I think I think pawn takes is the main line, but uh, but most people uh, want to adventure uh, and say that okay I win a pawn. How do you uh, respond? And uh, I want to say in this video, what I want to say is that queen h five is bad, and I want to tell you why we learned queen h five, and. Additionally, I want to give you an introduction to what we want to do in the next videos. So this video is about that. And I want to give you a big picture of what happens next. Because I think if I go into all lines, it's very complex and it's not easy to digest in one video. And not worth it. So I will break it down. So why Queen H5 is bad? Queen H5 is bad because... Black doesn't play queen f6 and plays queen e7. You may say that what's the difference? I just castle. Black grabs the pawn. And then I, for example, develop the knight. Here, black has a pleasure to play a knight c6. Knight comes in with a threat. I'm sorry, knight f6. Knight comes in with a threat, attacking over queen. And once we move the queen, we lose a tempo. And all in the entire gambit was to gain a tempo. And losing a tempo means you lose a game. And if you go back, for example, try to repeat the same ideas as before, it doesn't help much. Because even if you open this file, uh, it doesn't help you attacking the knight with rook, uh, not less valuable piece. So we are down exchange and pawns and it's not working also if we bring the bishop first bishop out first as you have seen in the previous lines and some point we may bring the bishop to attack the queen again the same move knight f6 this is a critical move first shields the queen and then not just that it also attacks your queen our queen so we can of course take and go for some fancy lines but it doesn't help much uh, for example at this position this is just something to show you at this position we of course destroyed black's structure but count the pieces we are down two pieces of course we can get one of the pieces back but then we are down a complete rook and some pawns just to damage the opponent structure of uh, opponent structure of black and that's not uh, winning i mean if there were two three more pieces in the game then yes it was most likely winning but uh, when we have just three pieces mm, and not all of them are into attack it's um, very difficult to convert it so queen h5 is bad and one, then the question is why i told you i told you about this uh, line at all now uh, when i knew that it is bad there are two main reasons for that. First of all, queen h5 directly is bad. But we play queen h5 with delay. And if you know the idea of the simple version directly queen h5, then the um, understanding the idea of the rest is much easier. Especially, for example, if uh, later we uh, enter uh, with queen h5 with delay, Black can play again queen e7, queen f6, and for queen f6, we don't need to discuss too much. Okay. There is a second reason for that. So, first reason was that you will know the main concepts and it's much easier to deal with it. But there is a second reason for that, and this is a sneaky reason <laughs> is that not many people know this line. And I personally played queen h5 very often. And in all my games so far, only once someone knew how to play against it. 
So I mean, I can guarantee that more than 90% of the time, if you are under like 2400, under 2500, in 90% of the times your opponents don't know what to do now because my opponent range is between usually between 2200 2400 or 2200 2500 so in, the, in this range and so now and in, the, in such a range i didn't see anyone except one case now i've seen that knew how to play against queen h4 but people don't know so in at least in blitz and rapid games you will enjoy easy points anyways let's go into what we want to discuss we don't play queen h5 we play bishop e3 and here black has to retreat the knight otherwise we'd simply capture the knight for example let's say it develops the knight we simply capture 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 first of all we got back our uh, gam our gambit pawn but it's not that all um, because we already have a centralized queen and we are uh, in the attacking side and for example, if we like castles, we bring the knight out, we castle queen side and destroy black's structure easily because we are up a tempo still. We are not down a pawn, we are up a tempo. I'm not going too much into this. You may say that black can exploit the uh, uncastled king. Not really because yeah, you just simply retreat the bishop and then they give back a pawn and castle. That's it. And uh, this position, if you check it with engine, is plus one for white. But as a human, you may make a mistake and don't convert it. But white is uh, by no means behind in this position. Okay, let's go to the main line. I just want to give you an overview of what will happen in the next uh, series. And then, oh, uh, this goes back actually. Oh, sorry. Oh, I missed the line. Okay, this goes back actually. And then we play queen h5 finally. This is the queen h5 that we talk all the time about it. And here there are two main moves to defend the f7 spot. One is queen f6. One is queen e7. Queen f6 idea is very similar to what we have seen earlier. Except that uh, in this case, for example, after we castle, there is no... no, no there is no knight to attack our c2 spot so we enjoy that and we are doing very well and we will cover quickly this one but you already know the ideas and another line that we want to cover is mm, queen e7 here we need different ideas and in this case we want to prevent castling uh, by castling black castling and you may say that how this move prevents castling but we will discuss it later we have new ideas here to discuss and yes that's it that's for today stay tuned and we will cover all lines gradually see you bye